Hello everybody, Code Theorem here, and I'm here to show you guys how to make your own custom commands to use with Raid Theorem. So how do you make your own custom commands that are actually fireable from my website? Well, to do this, we're going to I'm going to show you a few things that are created by my script that you'll need in order to do this. Um, and before these things are created, you have to actually have a server up and running. So I'll show you guys how to make sure everything's there before you get started. So now that we've started, we see there's this no team GUI in the starter GUI and this surface GUI on the console. We can also go to our um, replicated storage and now there's a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't there before, right? And it's all preceded by this raid theorem underscore. That way it doesn't mess on that with anything else you might have. You've got console owner, defending team color, blah, 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 blah. A ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. But I'm just going to show you guys what you need to see. You need to see this raid theorem events thing here. This raid theorem events is where all of the events will be put. Um, and these events are actually going to be where... Um, your commands actually get their data sent to and they'll be sent to um, the set in the form of a bindable event which is over here in the basic objects if you need a little help with bindable events I suggest checking out the wiki I believe I have a Roblox game development video um, or two about bindable events or you could even hit the Roblox scripters or scripting helpers forum three great places mostly the second one um, but they're all really great places to check that kind of stuff out. I'm not here to show you how to do that today necessarily. I'm here to show you how to wire something up with Raid Theorem. Another thing you'll need to see is this Raid Theorem underscore is ready. This is made at the very tail end of the setup process. It's the last thing done to set up your server to use Raid Theorem. Um, this Raid Theorem is ready variable will be true when it is finally time for you to start interacting with Raid Theorem. Everything's set up, Raid Theorem's good to go. Now you can finally start putting your own stuff in. So we're going to create a new script. Um, we're going to actually go back to the main uh, game though. We're going to create a new script in here. In this script, what we're going to do is we're going to make, uh, let me blow the text up first. There's actually a few more things I need to show you. But in this script, what do we need to do? First, we need to make the command and tell Raid Theorem about the command. Say, hey, here's the information I'm going to need to fulfill this command and create the command for me. Then you'll also need to listen for that command. Technically, you're listening to the event of the command being called. Um, you're going to listen to that event, and then you can do whatever the heck you want with it. So I'm going to go back real quick to the t studio server and we're going to scroll up and in here um, create event. There's this bindable function in replicated storage called raid theorem underscore create event. This is where you will send your data that you need for your event to work. How do you do this? Well if we go back again to our script um, what you do is you send it three arguments, okay, three arguments. The first one is the name of your event. The second one, um, if I remember correctly, I'm just going to do a quick, quick check here, uh, create event. Okay, it's your string parameters, the names of your string parameters, parameters that should come back as strings, and then your integer, int parameters, which is the names of the parameters that should come back with numbers, n integer numbers, okay? There's not really any decimal places. You could send them, but they're not necessarily supposed to be sent uh, that way, okay? So we're going to take Raid Theorem here, and right now it's, uh, and right now what we're going to do is we're going to create the event. So we're going to store a few pieces of data here. Um, we're going to make a new variable called ev name, which means event name, and we're going to set it to custom event, um, and after, and then we're going to make two arrays of parameters. So ev string params equals a new table, sorry, not array, 
and we're going to do the same thing ev int params equals a new table so we're going to put in strings even for the ints you put in strings because these are the names of the parameters so I'm going to put in first parameter or actually first string parameter first string parameter um, and you can put in as many of these as you want second string parameter I'm gonna stop at two for this and then in the int params I'm just gonna put in int parameter that's all I'm going to do and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually hold on I'm sorry I'm jumping back real quick the number one most important thing you have to do do you remember that raid theorem underscore is ready um, bull value that's in replicated storage yeah that's the first thing you need to do you need to put this line repeat wait until game dot rep yeah, replicated storage find first child raid theorem oops make sure capitalization is correct raid theorem underscore is ready alright once that variable is once that value is there then you're good to go and you can continue because that means raid theorem is ready to do anything you need it to next up we're going to go game dot replicated storage um, dot raid theorem create uh, is it event or command let's go I don't exactly yeah it's create event that's what I thought create event invoke and in these parameters you're going to put in ev name the name of your event ev string params your string parameters and then ev int params your integer parameter names what this will do is it will create your new event in um, replicated storage so let's go ahead and close down this test server and let's open another one up so I can demonstrate the fact that this does actually work to you guys there we go now if we go to replicated storage is ready's there so okay our script should run and there's nothing in the output saying anything went wrong so let's go to raid theorem events look at that you have custom event which will now fire with the names that you require they'll be in an array but we'll get to that right now so if we close our server and we go down to um, our script again and we go so game that replicated storage that um, raid theorem events and I think yeah I must have closed that huh let's let's reopen that because I kind of need to you know see some of these things you're gonna need to see these names as well I'm sure it is raid theorem events all right raid theorem events Raid theorem events and let's go with ev name because that's the name of your event. I'm not going to explain every line of code I'm writing, guys. This is for people who already know how to code, hopefully. Um, hmm. That event connect function and actually, hold on, function. And from here, what you'll need is. Um, I'm looking over here at kind of what I wrote already that worked there we go okay target so the target which could be everybody it could be just one team or it could be just one player you don't have to use this target variable but it will always always be sent to you no matter what this target variable will be sent to you and then args you don't have to name it args but I do and these are args is going to be the arguments you specified you need so, um, we're, we, you could just print, um, which will print to the output, args, and you can do ev string params 1, which is the first string parameter, um, dot dot space, er, we'll do a hyphen, dot dot args ev string param, and no, here, here's a second way of doing it, second string parameter so as you guys can see it's args will be a table with string indexes the strings you put in for the parameter names they will be indexes to the values that the person passes in from the website 
dot dot and then like that and args um, event int params one and then you can close this off and I'm oh I'm missing the two periods to concatenate and what that will do is now it will print what the first string parameter is what the second string parameter is and then the int parameter separated by hyphens so that is how to make your roblox um, or your raid theorem have custom commands that you can use hope you guys have enjoyed the video please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button please comment below and i will catch you guys later